I'm Kathleen Henderson from Roots and Boots, and I'm gonna show you my favorite way to prepare sweet potatoes. My go-to method for preparing sweet potatoes, this is a homegrown sweet potato, by the way. This was all one huge sweet potato that I grew myself in my garden. It's super simple. All you need is sweet potatoes, coconut oil, and an oven. If you have convection bake, you definitely wanna use that. It's basically like an air fryer, and it gives your potatoes kind of a crispy outside and a soft inside. I set it to somewhere around 400, anywhere between 400 and like 425. See, while the oven is preheating, I go ahead and put my coconut oil in there to start melting. I forgot to do that, so my oven is already completely preheated, but I'm gonna melt that coconut oil. Then you're just gonna chop your potatoes. You can make them small, they'll cook faster that way, or you can make them bigger, they'll take a little longer but they're a little more substantial that way. Also, I never peel my sweet potatoes. I always leave the skins on, especially when they're my own potatoes that grew in my own garden and I know exactly what was used or not used in that growing method. I don't have to worry about anything bad being on my potatoes and the skins have a lot of nutrients, so I leave the skins on. So one tip whenever you're roasting vegetables, if you've been cooking for a while, you probably already know this, but if you're newer to cooking from scratch, then maybe you don't know this, is to keep the size as uniform as possible. Otherwise, you know, the smaller pieces will have a tendency to burn while the bigger pieces are still cooking. It's not always perfect, but just do the best you can. This recipe is so simple that it's almost not even a recipe, but I really have had so many people eat these potatoes at my house and say, oh my goodness, these are so delicious, how did you make them? So I thought I would share this here with you. One little side note is that if you compost or feed livestock with your kitchen scraps, we have two buckets here. This one goes to our pigs, occasionally the chickens, but usually the pigs, and this one goes to our compost pile. So raw potatoes should not be fed to pigs, and that's why I put them in our compost pail instead. When they're cooked, cooked potatoes, can be fed to pigs, so those could go in your livestock bucket, but that's just a little tip for you. So can you believe this was all from one sweet potato? That was a large sweet potato. Now I have too many in my bowl to really toss them in coconut oil, so I'm taking some out, and I will do this in two batches. You wanna leave some room in your bowl to stir the potatoes around and get them nice and evenly coated with coconut oil. So that looks about half and half. All right, my coconut oil is melted, so I'm going to just pour it over the potatoes, and it's pretty chilly in my kitchen. These potatoes are not refrigerator cold, but they are kind of cold, so I'm tossing quickly to avoid my coconut oil hardening on the potatoes, which can happen if you're tossing cold vegetables in coconut oil. Okay, that's pretty good, and I'm gonna add salt. I know I told you earlier that all you need are sweet potatoes and coconut oil. I forgot about the salt, but I'm sure that you have salt on hand. And of course, this salt is my favorite unrefined sea salt from Redmond, and I do have a discount code for you if you want to order anything from Redmond. They have more than just salt. I love their seasoning mixes also. You can see the description of this video for my discount code. I like to be pretty generous with the salt on these potatoes. So I toss them and then I'm going to salt again and toss again. You can see how that coconut oil is already starting to solidify a bit because it is so cold here. I'll show you the view out my window. We actually have snow. We don't always get snow in Northern Virginia every winter, but we did this winter and we have really been enjoying it. Once the potatoes are tossed in coconut oil and seasoned with salt, then you just lay them in a single layer on a baking sheet. This is stainless steel baking sheet. I forget the size, but I have a second one ready 
to accept the second half of my potatoes. And then obviously you roast the potatoes for about 30 minutes. Roasted sweet potatoes are one of my go-tos, especially when we are having guests for dinner. One of our go-to combinations is Greg will smoke some of our homegrown meat. I will roast some of these delicious sweet potatoes and we will open a jar or two of our home canned, homegrown green beans. And we might add another side or a salad, but it's a winning combination. It makes it really simple for us and it always gets rave reviews. And that is how to make simple, delicious, roasted sweet potatoes, one of my go-to recipes. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my Roots and Boots YouTube channel for more homesteading, homeschooling, home-based content here on YouTube. <laughs>